Hi, this is Cousin Russ. I am going to do a recording uh, for the blog about uh, that deals with an issue that was raised by Ancestry.com. So I'm going to be talking about Family Tree Maker 2019 and removing the media files from Ancestry.com. Uh, this is a, a a reaction, my reaction, and I need to think about it later, but I need to take some action now. So I'm going to switch over to Family Tree Maker, and that is the planned workspace. Now, this Ancestry member tree, or I'm sorry, this Family Tree Maker uh, file does have, have a uh, related Ancestry member tree. So I'm going to bring that over here to the screen so you can see what it looks like. There is the Ancestry member tree that's associated with this file that's in Family Tree Maker. What I'm going to do in the Ancestry member tree is click the down arrow and look at the media gallery. Now the media gallery is all of the media files that I have uploaded to Ancestry. You can see that I have 157 media files uh, that I have uploaded to Ancestry. Uh, according to Ancestry, there are uh, 98 photos, they call it, and the photos related to a JPG or JPEG file. So they're basically pictures uh, what's on the screen now are not those pictures but they are JPEG files that I have uploaded to Ancestry. The stories I have uploaded is uh, 59 and those stories are PDF files and Word document files that I have uploaded from Family Tree Maker in the sync, use in the sync process. So uh, that's the all media files that I have uploaded and just so you know, and I will show you here, I want to go back to the tree view. And I'm going to select this profile. And you can see there is a picture there. But in the gallery, there are a number of uh, pictures that are, or media files that are in the gallery. There is, some, is not a count. But I will come back to this in a little bit after I've done what I need to do. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to move this off the screen so I can go back to Family Tree Maker. So within Family Tree Maker, I had, uh, you saw in the Ancestor Member Tree, I had 57, 157 media files. But if I look in Family Tree Maker, I have 370 files. So I already have a number of files uh, that are already not uploaded to Ancestry, but they're in my, uh, in my file on my computer. Now what I am going to do to get rid of my uploaded media files is a couple of mouse clicks. I'm clicking on that image. And on my keyboard, I just clicked Control A. For the Mac, it would be Command A or Select All. Now I am right clicking, and you can't do that on the Mac. There's a different way to do this. Um, I right clicked on the All Images media files, and I am going to select Mark Private. You'll see that there's a, a lock by these items, and the and the computer is now marking all of the media files private. And I'll show you several ways where you can see that they're private. And you saw that the images now have a lock, which means it's marked private. Not only that, there's a check mark in the private. So now all of these media files are now marked private. Now, what I, I'm going to, I've made a change in Family Tree Maker, so you see the up arrow saying I need to do a family sync, so I'm 
to do that, my best practice is compact file and back it up. And I'm going to back it up before it does the backup first. And I've talked about this before. And what I do with the backup, I have them put in a specific custom folder on my computer so I know where all the backups are. And I add the timestamp uh, of the backup file because this is about the fourth time I've backed up this file today. So I want to know what order it is. Uh, it told me the file is now backed up. Now Family Tree Maker is compacting the file and it'll do some diagnostics, which is what it's doing now. It's now compacting the file. Uh, it's doing some cleanup. This says uh, it reduced the size by 0 0.026. But what I'm going to do, because my best practice is get it down to 0, and I'm going to cancel that. Cancel because I selected something wrong. Tools, compact, perform the analysis, which is all I want to do. I've already backed it up. So now it's going to compact it again. It should get it down to zero. And it's down to zero. So now I can now sync the file. So I'll go to the plan workspace and sync now. It's now connecting to the servers at Ancestry. It's telling me that I can do a sync. It's a green weather. I'm going to continue the sync. So what now Family Tree Maker is doing some analysis. And what I'm going to do is capture that screen. I have a screen capture program, which I'm capturing right now. And it will be on a different screen. But you see here that I have just deleted, according to the sync process, 157 images. Now, I did not delete them in Family Tree Maker. But when I do the sync process, it's going to mark, the, it's going to remove them or delete them from the Ancestry member tree. Now, I always click on the print detail button because I want a copy of what changes were made. And there's a PDF file. So I'm going to export it as a PDF file. And uh, it's going to ask, I always add the file name at the beginning. And I'm going to add the date at the end and the time so that it, if something happens I, I i know what i where i can go back to now i'm highlighting that name because that image that i saved i'm going to not export it i'm going to close and continue then while that's going on what i'm doing is saving that image that i did a screen capture and I'm putting the file name of the change log or the sync log of so they both have uh, the same file name that is the screen capture of 157 deleted and um, the and a, a list the PDF file a list of all the changes so right now the changes that i made in family tree maker are now being uploaded to ancestry.com into the ancestry member tree so it's chugging right along as it should and it uh it it shows me the process that's going on at the time. It doesn't make any difference. So one thing that I do caution is uh, do not cancel the sync process. You'll end up with issues to clean up. Uh, but the good news is we know 
through experience now with Family Tree Maker 2019 that we get that uh, weather report, the sink weather report. So we know that at the time that I started the sink process, it was good to do a, a sink. Um, so that process is going on right now. Uh, just as a reminder in the upper right hand corner and uh, in the middle of the left hand panel, there's an up arrow saying there was changes in Family Tree Maker that now need to be uploaded and synced to Ancestry. It says sync now. And it also shows me in this icon uh, that the fact the sync process is uh, green. And I have a message up here that says the sync is was complete. Now I'm going to come over here and bring my ancestry member tree back up. And I'm clicking refresh because I did a change. So I'm going to repeat what I did before the down arrow media gallery. There are no media files. So I just deleted 157 images that are in Family Tree Maker from ancestry member tree um, now i want to go back to look at her profile and that's what i'm bringing up now and i'm going to look at her gallery her gallery has some records but not as many as i did before so they're there since I didn't have a count and I did not count them, but I want to show you something else. You see the, the, the sources, the source list, the citations, the images are there. And I'm going to double click on it or view. And you can see that that image is from Ancestry. So, uh, I did not lose the images that are going with the citations that I got from Ancestry. I did not delete them. They're right here. I can see them uh, in uh, the Ancestry member tree and they're in Family Tree Maker. So I'm going to, that's what I want to, to accomplish. I wanted to make sure that uh, I could. Uh, delete or remove deletes probably the bad term but to remove all of the media files that i uploaded to ancestry they are no longer on ancestry so uh, if you have any comments leave it in the blog that will accompany uh, that will uh, be part of this uh, recording